Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arca Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can work with new AI, which name is ArcuVinci.com for our 3D renderings about interior and exterior rendering. This is AI is one of the amazing AIs which we have in the uh, history of AI is completely free and you can use it from three renders, free credits. After that, you need to upgrade your profile. So uh, first of all, you need to type rqvnc.com on your google chrome or firefox or any type of software which you use for browsing and you can see ai architecture generation will be loaded for you and you can use it free and getting it started from here you can see the simple of it how it works and i think it can be really wonderful it uses sketch studio realistic render and you can redesign or rescale or upscale your renders completely free so i have the test file in here which is about modern exterior villa design and I want to take one simple shot from it so I only want to see how it can generate my file for me very simple and easy first of all I'm going to use my camera like that and I want to set out some angle like this something like this one click on the uh, eye option in here and type 3.4 as my eye height in here and click on the camera change it to the two point perspective and I think now it's much fun than the other time. So click on the file option in here, click on the export to the graphic, select your desktop and type sketch in here. Very simple and easy. You can add some number for it. For example, double zero one. Click on the options, increase the quality a little bit because it can help your AI to understand what you really want from it very simple and easy. You can customize line scale multiplier. 1.22 is enough. anti allies is on and I need better quality. Click on the OK. Click on the export in here. It takes a bit of time and after that SketchUp will generate new 2D graphic for you and you can see it in here which name is sketch number one in here. And I think it can be completely suitable for our AI. So click on the Google Chrome in here and this is your AI. First of all, you need to sign in like that. So you can see your Gmail profile picture in here. And it means that you signed in to this site. So click on the get started. It's free in here. It takes a bit of time. Double click on it. And you can see new window will be open for you, which you have multiple options for your render first one is the exterior design ai which is completely useful for your 3d design projects next one is the interior design ai second one is the master plan ai which is completely useful for landscape design and landscape architecture next one is the furnish room which helps you to make your space more realistic with suitable furnitures Modify room is the new AI which helps you to change parts of your interior design and modify Archie helps you to create exterior designs more realistic. So I'm going to click on the exterior design in here like that and now you have this window in here which is completely simple and easy. So I'm going to click on the upload image in here and use sketch number one in this place and click on the open in here. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time and this image will be uploaded for you very simple and easy. In here, you have render modes. Absolutely, we need exterior render. So click on the exterior in this place. Do not touch it on the master plan or interior because it can't understand it. Similarity level is the similar, balanced and creative. My experience shows to me, when you click on the creative, most of the time render will be completely abnormal. So try to use balance, which completely optimize with your sketch idea and render like this. In here, you can see the description about similar and creative. In the creative mode, we have generates flexible options, but we don't need it. About the prompt optional, you can type what you want from this render. For example, I'm going to type modern villa with daylight rendering and realistic GI light calculation. Maybe GI is not really understandable for the artificial intelligence. So you can type and realistic lighting. Very simple. In the negative prompts, which is optional, you can remove some type of things 
which you can predict can destroy your render. For example, straight lines, bad frame, bad shape, or some other things like that. But I don't like to use it. So I'm going to place it empty. Building type can be selectable in the architectural design. For example, residential house, hospital, airport, and some other things, which can be really fascinating. So click on the uh, residential house in here because Villa is a type of residential house. Render style is the uh, completely related to what you want. Realistic is the uh, completely match with similarity. Minimalist modernism, cinematic realism, photographic realism, romantic sunset, fantastic sunset or night, and a starry twilight. I think cinematic realism is really wonderful for my job. And in here we have seed, which I don't want to talk about it and I will show you how it works. So click on the generate in here. It takes a little bit of time and Archivency will be start your rendering with the AI. It takes a little bit of time and after that you can see your render very simple and easy. It's really suitable for the time when you out of time and you don't know how you can manage your project with your clients. Sometimes AI can be really helpful for your job and what you want from your render. So in here, my render is ready for me and you can see what really happened. When I click on it and click on the open image in the new tab, and this is my new render, which completely realistic with the things that I have in my mind. So the result of it is really amazing and I'm really shocked. So click on it and click on the save image as in here and select your desktop. So I'm going to type it AI render number one. Save it as the PNG, so click on the save in here. So I'm going to close it. We have seed option in here. I only have one free credit and it's the final test. So you have seed ID in here, which is the uh, to generate slightly similar images with this output. So if you like this output, it means that you like this render setting. So if I click on the copy in here, seed will be copied for me. And if I come down, click on the enter seed number and copy my seed number, it means that my render setting copy for another render. This time I'm going to change my render style to the uh, something like minimalist modernism. And in here, I'm going to click on the comma and type high quality output so as you can see everything is fine in here everything is done so i want to see that with the minimalist modernism how the seed or render setting will be work another time i'm going to click on the generate and i want to see the result of it very simple and easy it takes a little bit of time i think near to the 10 second or 15 second so as you can see, this is the new render that we have in here and it has some changes. You can see the result of it. I think this AI is really amazing because you can save your time on the economic way. So I'm going to type AI render number two and save it on my desktop. So when I click on the uh, desktop in here, I have this AI renders. So I'm going to click refresh it and AI number one in here. You can see the result of it and AI number two in here. And this is the second result. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.